Several years ago, Firefox made a change to the way it handles inputs of type equals image. I didn't know about this until recently, and when I tried to find out why my form wasn't working the way I expected it to in Firefox, I came across Anoop Shaw's blog post here, and Anoop agreed that it would be good to make a video explaining how this works. And so that's what we're doing here in this video. The original blog post is at the URL shown here. Thanks Anoop for agreeing to let us use this as the basis for this video tutorial. Here's the code. You can see we just have a form. The method is get and the form is submitting to itself for purposes of this example. And the form just has one input in it and it's type equals image. The name of the image is button image and its value is button dash value. And because it's an image, the input can have a source and it's pointing to one not dot ping. So this button will show up as an image on the page and I'll show it to you in uh, Google Chrome first. Here it is. That's the image. And when I click on it to submit the form, it submits. You can see in the URL on the query string that it has different parameters. Button dash image dot X equals 248 and button dash image dot Y equals 99 and button dash image equals button dash value. So what are the button dash image dot X and button dash image dot Y? That's the X Y position of the mouse on the image. So if I click again to resubmit it, and I'll click in the upper left hand corner, you can see it's nine for the X value and six for the Y value. Click in the bottom right, 417 for the X value and 142 for the Y value. But what we're looking for is this other parameter, button dash image equals button dash value. If we go back to the code, you can see that's the name and value of our input button. That actually works just as I had expected it to work in Google Chrome, but the issue came up with Firefox. Here's the same page in Firefox. I'll click and you can see we get the button dash image dot X and button dash image dot, dot Y parameters, but we don't get the button dash image parameter. It's not passed in. So I was surprised at this, but it turns out that this is by design. This is how HTML5 forms are supposed to work. So how can we in Firefox create a button that's an image that sends its name and value to the server when it's clicked on to submit the form? Well, let me show you how. We're going to create another input here, but this time we'll create a submit button. And its name is going to be button dash image two. And the value will also be button dot value. Oops, button dot value. All right, that's all we need. And then we're going to use CSS to make it look like an image. Before we do that, let me go back to Firefox and submit. And you can see we have this submit button now, button, dot va button dash value. And if we click on that one, you can see that it does submit button dash image two equals button dash value. So the parameter is passed when we click on the submit button. But we don't want it to look like a regular button that just says button value on it. We want it to look like the image button above it. So how do we do that? Input type equals submit. And the first thing we're going to do is put a background on it. The same image that we used in our image button. So let's take a look at that and see what happens. Okay, you can see that, that from the shading that there's an image in there. But it looks like we need to set the height and width to make it as big as the other image. Let's do that. The height is 140 pixels and the width is 430 pixels. Okay, we'll stick with that for now. Go back to Firefox and now we have a beautiful button. So there's a couple other things here that, that are still a problem. One is you can see that button dash value still shows up on our button. We want to get rid of that. And our submit button also has a border. We want to get rid of that too. We'll get rid of both of those now border none. That gets rid of the border. And to get rid of the text, we'll just make it transparent. Color RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That fourth zero is what makes it transparent. Now we go back, we refresh, we have our two buttons. They look quite the same. Uh, the second button looks like I got the height wrong. It's actually 150 pixels. 
there we go now our buttons look exactly the same again if I click on the first button the image button it passes just the X and Y position but not the button image property and if I click on the second button it passes button image too so that second button will do the trick I hope you found this helpful thanks again to Anoop for the inspiration for this video check out his blog article for more information on the history of the issue take care